So I woke up this morning and I had this thought, what if I only wore my husband Michael's clothing for a few days. And I don't mean, you know, wearing my pants and just throwing on a t-shirt of his or wearing one of his button downs over my shirt. These are things I've already done. Like I like wearing his clothes occasionally because they're comfortable. I throw on his sweatshirts all the time. I mean, what if I only wore his clothing and I did not wear anything of mine? for a few days. Just to give you some quick differences between my body type and Michael's body type. He weighs about 175 to 180 pounds. He is six foot five inches. His shoe size is 14 and a half. His jeans are 32, 34. And the rest of his clothing is all size large. He pretty much gets everything in extra long sizes because he has a really long torso and really long legs. Just to be clear, we have very different body types. I'm five foot seven and I wear a woman's size small in almost everything that I buy. So I'm taking a look through Michael's clothing and his closet and I'm just kind of getting some inventory on what he has. I'm wondering if I can pull together outfits so that I can live for three days in New York City doing all the things I need to do wearing only his clothes. Let's see if it works. So in our bedroom we have this Ikea closet that we have built into the wall behind it and if you slide this half over it's my side and then a few drawers of my things. And if we close that and open the other side, it's Michael's side. And I have really never been in here before, so let's see what we got. So hanging up at the top, he has what looks like some work button downs and some work blazers over here. So these are like the fancy button downs, different textures and different patterns. Looks like he has a banana shirt in here. Nice. He's got belts over here ties over here. And then down here we have jeans and dress slacks. And then there is a pair of slippers and some drawers. So let's see what's in each. Here are work socks and a random white t-shirt. Not sure why the drawer is organized that way. These are just a couple of sweatshirts. More sweatshirts, sweatshirts, sweatshirts. And we got shorts, shorts, like looks like golf shorts back here, and then up here are some collared shirts. This looks like his golf section. Up here, there used to be a bin, and he pulled that out and put it on the bed for me. So this is just some extra stuff that I guess he had in storage, but it looks like more jeans, more t-shirts, t-shirts, some swimsuits, which I will not be using right now, and socks. And then if we go over here, this entire piece in our bedroom is Michael's because my clothes are in here. I have this whole closet <laughs> basically to myself with the exception of a few of his pieces hanging here. So in here, let's check out what's in these drawers. Socks galore. A pair of shorts and then some pajama t-shirts it looks like. Then we've got some everyday t-shirts, just like basics. These are gonna come in handy for me. And some everyday shorts. Now up here, these are boxers. These are his compression shorts, which might be the only boxer shorts that fit me. Then we have some more shorts, t-shirts, and more t-shirts and shorts. So my first thought about Michael's clothing, having just looked at everything, is that his drawers could definitely use some major organization. That is not what I'm here to do though, so I will not be organizing his drawers. Instead, I'm going to go through everything I just found and I'm gonna try to pull outfits that I think potentially could fit me and pair things together so that I can see if I can get three days worth of clothing out of this. Because we've mostly been staying inside these days, I'm mostly gonna be doing this challenge at home, which does make it a lot easier, but I will be going outside at various points and we might even go out for a dinner together at one point in the next few days. So I definitely need to pull together some acceptable outfits. So I'm going to do some closet digging and searching and we'll see what we find. Got jeans. Gonna need three pairs of boxers. I pulled some stuff and I'm just gonna start trying on to see what fits and what does not fit. So I put on this one piece swimsuit so that I could change on camera 
on YouTube without getting naked. So that's why I'm in a swimsuit, but I will not be wearing this during the actual challenge. All right, I'm trying on different pairs of Michael's jeans to see how they look and how they fit. Ugh. All right, so they're big. Let me zip them. We've got about this much space in the pants, so we could basically fit my sister in here <laughs> alongside me. If I let go, this happens. I found a belt in Michael's closet. This was the only belt of Michael's I found that doesn't have holes in it. The ones that have holes kind of only go up to about here, and I know that's not going to fit on me. So this is one of those belts where you can stick this through any area on the belt and make it as tight or as loose as you want. It's kind of like a black textured strap, very floppy. So this is my belt. The pants stay up now, they fit. I wouldn't say nicely, they don't look great from the back. But if I play with the cuffs a little, there we go. This is it. They are fitting around my waist as high-waisted jeans, basically, and the back has a lot of randomness going on. From the front, I'm not sure you would ever know, but from the back, you'd be curious. Let's find a top. I'm comfortably situated in outfit one. I've basically just got a loose striped t-shirt with a pocket, very soft, tucked in to these jeans that I have cinched up with Michael's belt and rolled up at the ankles. Okay, so I am officially in this outfit that I plan on wearing today. I took the swimsuit off and put on Michael's boxers. I actually rolled them up like, rolled them like underwear. So I am in my outfit, ready for the day. Today I'm pretty much staying inside and just doing work, but I did want to see if the whole jeans thing would work out, and it did. So now let's talk about shoes, because immediately when I thought that I needed to run an errand, I have to go drop something off at FedEx, I was like, what shoes am I gonna wear? I'm already wearing his socks, and I needed to figure out what shoes I would wear with these socks. As I mentioned, Michael's is size 14. Just to show you what that looks like. These are his shoes, larger than my face, very large. These are his dress shoes, which make them kind of stiff and rigid as opposed to like a workout shoe, but I tried putting these on just to see if maybe I could walk down the street in this, how it would look. And let me tell you, it does not look good. So here's what his shoes look like on me. Very big. If you wanna see from the side, So as you can tell, these shoes are not a fit, so then I thought maybe I can try his slippers. These are the slippers that were in his closet when we first opened it, and I thought maybe the slippers would be a better bet because pretty much everyone's slippers are a little too big for their feet. So then I put the slippers on. And it turns out they're just too big. And not only are they a little bit too big, but I feel like they might be Borderline dangerous. I feel like I could potentially trip on the streets wearing these. And even without socks, they look kind of ridiculous and I definitely do not think these are gonna fly on the streets of New York. So with that in mind, I'm going to revert back to my shoes and I'll be wearing all of Michael's clothes and my own shoes. Okay, so I'm just taking a quick trip to drop off the contents of this package at FedEx. I put on Michael's mask. I normally wear a tie-dye one, so I'm wearing his black mask and his jacket. I'm gonna be honest, I do not need the jacket. It is pretty warm outside, but I'm pretty grateful that it's on because it's masking all of the extra fabric around my waist. Okay. I definitely feel the extra fabric weighing me down. One thing I'm definitely loving about wearing Michael's clothing is the fact that I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> There's a bee buzzing around my camera. How am I gonna get it without getting stung? <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised at the way Michael's compression shorts fit me 
and sort of just look like actual biker shorts that I own myself. So this is great. I mean, there is a little bit of a crotch situation, a little baggy and a little bit of space for nothing, but it's okay. I'm just gonna wear this and I'm gonna take this shirt I was wearing and tie it up. And this is a very respectable workout outfit. Usually after a workout, I'm pretty hungry for a little snack. Even though it is getting close to dinner, I like a little snack. This is what I pulled out of my fridge before I left. It's a split packet of peanut butter and jelly. If you're anything like me, your childhood was full of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but as an adult, I just don't have them quite as often, even though I love the taste of peanut butter and jelly together. And it's actually such a great midday energy boost, especially after a workout. So. It's the split pack where you can literally tear it down the middle. One side is peanut butter and one side is jelly. They come in all different combinations. So they have almond butter and cashew butter. They also have strawberry jelly, blueberry jelly, and more, and there's different combinations of each. My favorite flavor combo is peanut butter and the strawberry spread. I buy them in a 10 pack, and that's what you saw in my fridge. The box that they come in is recyclable, and I love that there's no palm oil, no GMOs, very minimal ingredients. It's basically just nuts and fruit spreads. It's gluten-free. Michael has a gluten allergy, so we're always looking for gluten-free snack options for him. And it's really fun to eat. I like to take these on hikes. Definitely check these out if you're a peanut butter and jelly lover, and if you're feeling nostalgic about your childhood, this is a perfect adult snack. I just woke up and I slept in this comfy t-shirt of Michael's with these boxers of his that I had worn. Ooh, you can see inside of them. So this was like a pretty standard comfy sleep outfit for me. Honestly, I've slept in his boxers and shirts many times, so this was pretty normal. But I did think throughout the night about what other types of outfits I could pull together, and I had a brain blast memory moment where I recall that it was actually in my five days of a capsule wardrobe video. I had a button down shirt as one of my wardrobe items and I repurposed it to be a skirt. And there was a specific method of tying it that I'm gonna have to remember, but essentially you can make a boy's button down long sleeve long shirt fit you like a skirt and actually be a cute little fall look. Here's my pajama style. This is what I slept in. And here's the button down shirt that I pulled for my skirt. It's just, if you look up close, checkered blue and white, very simple. I can pair it with anything. So if I remember correctly, so now once the three bottom buttons are buttoned, I'm going to step into it like a skirt. And I'm just doing this with my boxers on now so you can see, but I will, if this works, I'll be taking the boxers off. I have the collar right around my waist. Now I'm gonna take the two arms and what is going on? Maybe I have to button more. Okay, now we're really zipped in here. Cross, pull, and tie. And there we go, that is a skirt. It's pretty long and pretty ugly. Not sure what we're gonna do with this, but I'm gonna go look for a top to wear with it. I'm gonna take the boxers off and see how it looks. Okay, so I made some major changes. I threw on a blank white t-shirt, which was pretty much the only thing that looked good with one of these skirts. And then I totally switched up the button down. I realized no one's wearing a skirt that looks like a blue and white checkered button down like the one I got. So instead I pulled out a plaid shirt because I feel like plaid is really more of a fall skirt look anyway, and it's kind of the type of thing I would buy a skirt of. So here's what the final thing looks like. I am super impressed with the final outcome. There's just a lot of fabric on the front of the skirt, and I did have a pair of boxers pulled up underneath them, so it might be a little bit puffy. But I paired it with these combat boots, which I think actually makes the outfit look pretty cute for fall. And I'm really actually happy with the way this outfit turned out. I would definitely go out in this, definitely go out to eat, walk around the street, hang out with my friends, so. This is a plus and a definite success. How's my outfit? Looking good. You like it? It's pretty special. What do you think? Never seen my clothes like that. I'm out in the wild wearing Michael's shirt as a skirt. 
and wearing Michael's shirt as a shirt with no bra. I'm on my way to a park where I plan to just sit in the sun and do my work for a few hours. I brought my laptop. I often go to parks or coffee shops and just set up. I don't need Wi-Fi because I just use my hotspot from my phone. So that's what I'm gonna do in the sunshine and get a little bit of work done. Being at the park in this outfit feels completely normal. The only thing that feels abnormal is wearing his boxers under the skirt. It kind of makes me feel like I'm wearing a diaper. I'm used to just regular underwear, very thin underwear that doesn't feel like anything and this feels like I'm wearing shorts under the skirt. That's about it though, otherwise no one's looking, nobody cares, and nobody knows I'm in my husband's clothing. I'm about to go into Michael's closet and pull together an outfit for dinner. So I've got a cute outfit going on for dinner here. This is just another white t-shirt tucked into these cats. Khakis. To be honest, the belt is the only thing ruining this outfit right here because this looks like a rock climber's belt and I'm just going to dinner in New York. So this is not the right belt. I'm going to maybe figure out how to change the belt, but I put on Michael's blazer and honestly, this could be kind of a casual dinner out in Manhattan look. High fashion. I don't even know what to call it, but it's not bad and it's kind of cute. Okay, I tried on this other belt that I found in the closet. It's like a light blue gray color and surprisingly it fit. I am on the last hole, but it fit. So there's no need to wear the rock climbing belt anymore. But I am basically ready to go to dinner and I decided that this type of blazer is best worn on the shoulders, almost like it is actually my husband's and he just gave it to me to drape over my shoulders. So I will be wearing it on my shoulders as sort of a fashion statement and to keep me warm. Just finished my breakfast on day three, wearing my pajamas that I slept in last night. Michael's shark boxers and this t-shirt of his. I was trying to figure out what to do today with Michael's clothing because I'm actually not going anywhere today. I don't have any plans. And I started looking up inspiration of women wearing oversized power suits. Michael has a lot of suit sets in there. He has jackets, he has pants, he has nice tops, he has ties. And I came across a lot of inspiration on Pinterest of women wearing oversized suits as high fashion looks. A lot of times they have no tops on under it and it's very scandy, but it's just very interesting. I've never put on one of his outfits before, so I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I got inspired to try on some of Michael's suits and to try my best to take a high fashion photo shoot wearing nothing but his suits. Let's go try it. All right, I've got this blue suit that is striped on the inside and I have the blazer and the pants for that. And then I also have this black pinstripe suit with red on the inside, so let's go. So I didn't want to wear a belt with this look and I also didn't want to put a safety pin in one of Michael's suits, so I'm using one of these to clamp the pants in the back to make them tighter, just so you can't see that they're too big at the waist for the photo shoot, but they are way too big at the waist. I have my phone turned on to the camera mode and I have a little clicker that is basically an external shutter so I can just press that myself to take selfies. Let me get it. So I just have to sync this up with my iPhone, make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on, and eventually you will see. So as you will see, I have the camera facing me and I have this Bluetooth clicker and all I have to do is click on this button and it snaps the shutter. So this is how I can take selfies when Michael is working and when I'm being ridiculous and posing in his clothes. I just need this and this, and I take my own pictures. A little photo shooting trick, I actually took my camera and I flipped it upside down. So now the camera that's shooting me is low down and it's sort of like a low down angle. And that really helps if you're going for a high fashion look where you wanna look like an interesting shape or an interesting angle. So I've got the clicker in my hand and I'm just gonna try to hide it in the photos, either putting it in my jacket or just hide my hand. I 
am done for the day. My final takeaways about wearing Michael's clothing for the week is that it was not nearly as hard as I thought it would be to find cute outfits to pull together. A lot of oversized clothing tends to look sleek and stylish when it's worn in a certain way, so it actually worked most of the time. The biggest issue is that Michael's pants just don't fit around my waist, and unless I have some sort of a clamp or a belt, it's just not gonna work. Overall, I think I pulled together some great looks in this week. If you have any other ideas for how to take any of the other clothes that you've seen in Michael's closet, and make them cute, please let me know down in the comments section because I'm always open to new ideas and new ways of styling my clothes or his clothes. And let me know down in the comments section what other types of challenge videos you want to see from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it to let me know that you want to see more content like this one. And I can't wait to see you in my next challenge video. Bye!